So in our previous video, we were adding and subtracting powers, particularly those with numerical basis by using the highest common factor or rather taking out the highest common factor. So today we are going to be looking at two other methods, right? So firstly, we are going to be uh, factorizing, right? Firstly, by using um, the K method substitution. All right. And secondly, you know, finding the difference of two squares, right? So just hang tight and stay with me on this one. So for instance, if we've got a question, right? So let's say we've got 9x minus 9 divided by, we've got 3x minus 3. Right, now we are still going to, we're still going to apply the very same thing, adding and subtraction uh, of uh, powers or exponents in this case. Now we've got a minus sign in between. Now I want us to, very, to, to be very careful on this one. So we know that 9x can actually be written as 3 squared, right, raised to the power of x minus 9, okay, uh, I'm just going to leave that as 9, okay, and this is now going to be 3x minus 3. Now when you look at this, it might look as though, well, we don't have a common factor in this particular case, and yes, I agree, we probably don't, right? However, remember, we've got the difference of two squares. Now, remember, we said if we've got something like x squared minus 4, right? How do we get the difference of two squares? Well, we take the square root of the one, right? On both brackets, the square root of the other, right? The square root of 4 is 2, and we just simply are going to factorize it like that, right? So we're going to have different signs inside each bracket, okay? Now, if you look at this, we now have 3 to the power 2x minus 9, okay? That is definitely the difference of two squares, okay? So what do we do? We're going to say this would give us, so that's 3 to the 2x which should be 3x, okay, minus 3, taking the difference of two squares, that's 3x plus 3, okay? So this is divided by 3x minus 3. Now, remember we didn't have a common factor, but all of a sudden, we've got two brackets that are exactly similar on the numerator as well as on the denominator. So what do we do this time around? We are simply going to cancel them out. So that means that cancels out with that. And what do we get as our final answer? We're simply going to get 3x plus 3 as our final answer. Now, maybe uh, some of you may be saying, but I couldn't have recognized that from a power of soap. I couldn't see uh, that that actually works out to the difference of two squares. Right, So sometimes what you may actually want to do is use what we call the K-method substitution. Now, how do we do that? So I've got, uh, let's write 3 to the power 2x as 3 to the x squared, right? That changes absolutely nothing. So that's minus 9 divided by 3 to the power of x minus 3. Now you can say, well, in this case, we've got 3 to the power x. Uh, let's let 3 to the power of x equal to k. So that's k method substitution. So what does that do? It gives us k squared. Remember, we've got 3 to the power x. That's k squared minus 9 divided by k minus 3. I hope now, uh, rather, let's write this properly, minus 3. So I hope now you are able to see that you've got the difference of two squares at the numerator. So that will become k plus 3, k minus 3. And this is divided by k minus 3. And what happens is you cancel that with that. That gives us k plus 3. And so which means your final answer will now be 3 to the power x plus 3, which is exactly what we had in our answer there. Right.
Now, let's take another example. Sometimes we have got, uh, you know, we need to apply a complete factorization. So if we have something to the effect of 3 to the power 2x minus 3 to the power of x minus 6 divided by 3 to the power x minus 3. Now, again, ladies and gents, this might not be really clear. So what we can do is we can write that 3x squared minus 3 to the exponent of x minus 6 divided by 3 to the power of x minus 3, right? So that gives us k squared minus, oh, in fact, I forgot to say, let's let 3 to the power x equal to k, right? So notice in this case, we've got k squared minus k minus 6 divided by k minus 3. I think this always gives us some kind of a clue as to what we need to actually take out as a part of our bracket. So, of course, um, these examples kind of work out uh, in such a way that you kind of will, um, you know, cancel the denominator. So, that means if I am going to factorize that, the factors of 6 such that when I subtract them would give me 1, which is the middle term, right? So, we've got k and k here. We'll have 3 and 2. And of course, in this case, that would be k minus 3, k plus 2, okay? So that will be k minus 3. Ladies and gents, I cannot emphasize the importance of knowing how to factorize. So please, if you are not good at it, uh, please watch my videos on factorization. It is very important for us to do that. So k minus 3 and k minus 3 cancel out. And we've got k plus 2 as our final answer. But please remember, what does k represent? It represents 3 to the power of x plus 2. And in this case, we cannot factorize or we cannot simplify any further. That would be our final answer. All right. Now, I want to take this very last one, okay? And I'm going to give you one that you're going to uh, kind of do on your own, right? So, uh, in this case, if we have something to this effect. If I have x to the power 1 over 2 minus 1 divided by x to the power 1 over 4 plus 1. Now, this may not be clearly visible, right? That it is, uh, we can use k-method substitution. But I want you to note in this case, when it comes to fractions, right? that 1 over 4, okay, in this case, and 1 over 2, or in, in fact, uh, you remember that whenever we are, uh, we, we, you know, we factorize in this case, 1 over 2 can simply be, in this case, 1 over 4 uh, times 2. So, 1 over 2, is the same as 1 over 4 times 2, okay? You remember that, right? So why am I actually telling you that? Because in this case, we can write x 1 over 4 squared. You remember we are raising a power, right, uh, to the power, uh, I mean, uh, with another uh, exponent. So that's minus 1 divided by x to the power 1 over 4 uh, plus 1. Now what we can do there, we can let x to the power 1 over 4 be equal to k. And so that becomes k squared minus 1 divided by k plus 1. Of course, once again, You've got the difference of two squares, that's k plus 1, k minus 1, and this is divided by k plus 1. Okay, so we can cancel those out, and that gives me k minus 1. That is our final answer, but remember k represents 
x to the power 1 over 4, okay, that is minus 1. And we cannot simplify this any further. Ladies and gents, this is very important for us to note, okay, to know how to work uh, these out. Now, I want to give you one that you're going to do on your own, right? And please comment with the answer. Uh, you know, uh, I want to see what you actually get as your final answer. Uh, 16 minus 4 to the power of x divided by uh, 2x minus 4. Okay, please give me your final answer on the comment section and we'll see who gets this one right. Ladies and gents, I want to leave it here and I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.